Hey everyone, welcome back to another video, and today's video will actually be uh, talking about uh, patch 3.1. So, uh, patch 3.1 is finally done, uh, we worked over it at the weekend and finally uh, managed to release it. Now, this doesn't have many fixes, but it's fixes that a lot of people have been asking for, and me basically going back on some of my changes because of the playtesting to find out that some of them actually break the game. Uh, but yeah, uh, install should be simple, like you should get like these three files in the Dropbox folder. One for offline, one for the actual patch itself. Uh, now, this is important. To install this, you have to watch the first community patch video. Uh, it has the tutorial for hex editing so you can run these uh, patch files. Uh, this is important because I got a lot of YouTube comments in the past. I was not able to answer because um, I've answered the hundred. I've answered hundred of these, and I, I'm sorry about not replying to the recent ones, um, just because it's basically uh, me copy pasting uh, what what I'm saying repeatedly, and so I don't want to do that. So watch the first video, and yeah, I'll be going over some of the changes in this video and basically showing you how to install this. So you just drag it to your binaries folder and just execute it in game. Simple as, you know, there you go. Like that. And you should add the patch. All right, so let's go over the changes. That's in here. Uh, give me a second. Let me uh, turn it up. I think that's a bit too much. Oh, geez. Uh, okay, that still should be good for the video. I don't think it's that big. Anyway, so we, f we fixed the melee man shield, uh, not giving you increased damage on a melee crit, which is amazing. Uh, yeah, hold on. Let me close out of the game, actually. It's, uh, the sounds are bothering me. Anyway, uh, doubled homing grenade projectile speed. That means uh, you'll get faster homing projectiles. God liars have a chance to drop a legendary. This is uh, stuff that people ask for. Uh, Neo and Evo has, have been buffed. Uh, their health regen has been. Just because they were kind of underwhelming before. Uh, they didn't give you like the correct amount of uh, health regen. Badass pirates have a chance to drop the stink pot. It's like 3% because there are so many uh, badass pirates. But there's another drop source for it. Iron God can now drop three gemstone weapons upon death, uh, three of them, which is, I thought, you know, he only gives you uh, Torg gemstone weapons, and I'm like, no, that's, uh, he needs to give you more than that, so, you know, you can still get the Torg one, so you can drop four at a time, there's a chance for that. Evolution based healing rate was quintupled, yeah, there you go, and the Neo Generators been buffed too. Uh, transfusion uh, trials are faster just so uh, people can use them more than like the grog or anything like that. Skyrocket scales to uh, OP8. Uh, DJ Tanner has a chance to drop the sham now. Uh, I thought the sham never uh, had a dedicated drop source other than bunker so uh, Roscoe has a chance to drop the hive. Curse Bar can drop Captain Blade gear. That's all of them by the way. Jolly Roger, uh, anything, uh, 10%, they can drop all of them, yeah, Midnight Star, Orphan Maker, and yeah, we removed Orphan Maker from her early because of that, so you can farm for a Pimpernel and a Sandhawk from him now, so I basically made the farm easier. Uh, I don't know what this is in here twice, uh, I think this is in here to us. I think I already went through this. Anyway, um, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's in here twice. Uh, I'm not the one who wrote this. I'm going to have to remove it, so. Uh, Hyperius, Master G, Veracidus should drop Saras by 10%. It was 2% before. Uh, so Saras were like impossible to get. So we increased them. And uh, yeah, they can drop every Sarah from their respective DLCs. And uh, they can also drop the Seraph Relics too. Basically, uh, I don't know. I thought I, I thought uh, 
I was kind of uh, dumb that they didn't do that before, but now they do. Buff Landscaper, 40% uh, buff uh, and uh, damage buff and IS and pellets. Buff the Greed, I wasn't the one who did it, but I heard it's good now, so. Gave new skins to Infection Interface or Lesso and Devastator. Uh, I don't know if he included the Cobra, but yes, the Cobra too. These are the new skins. Uh, fix the Terra more. Teeth of Terra. I lower the Enervate health regen uh, because we gave Fearless uh, health regen when we, we shield is down. We thought he doesn't need that much survivability. Yeah, gun damage uh, to dot duration per level in Deception. Uh, yeah, I turned the fire out and uh, health regen on Fearless. Uh, remove the crit. The, now, we didn't remove the actual crit. We just, uh, this is the description because uh, it's misleading. Uh, it do, you do have the crit, but the chances of you getting the crit on Deception is like almost never. So, um, yeah, B Lock Water didn't give you the correct uh, gun damage. Uh, this we fixed uh, Maya's God Mode, double the slack chance of scorn, and more fixes like that. So. Uh, one, one extra thing, I'll include uh, a download link for uh, like Chaos Man's tool. Uh, this is a very, very useful tool. Uh, he's been working on it quite a lot. It's useful for modding because you have the object explorer, so you can actually search for things. So if I type in, like, I don't know, uh, this is G's name, for example. It's called Shaman for some dumb reason. So if I click search, like you can see all these things that are related to him. See like behaviors and how he works and everything like that. This is basically a search feature you can copy paste and you can also enable things from the patch. And the patch itself, we like added support for all of this. So you should definitely check out like Chaosman's tool. And uh, yeah, uh, this is it. So thank you guys for watching. Uh, and yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video.